Okay, so evening guys, hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday out there. Welcome to another edition of The Bearded Berserker with me, Matt, and I hope everyone's fine and great out there. Before we start, massive thank you to everybody watching the reviews and the videos and stuff that I'm putting up on YouTube. Really, really do appreciate it. Please, please like, subscribe and comment down below. I do read all of your comments and everything and I will reply to them. Thank you guys for that. I really do appreciate it. So, God, I look a state. That's what you get for just coming in from work and having a shower. Never mind. Hey. Now... If you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that I am doing a special live review on Halloween, which happens as most years, tends to be the 31st of October. So that's this coming Wednesday, and it's going to be UK time around about half past eight. So please join me for that. I'm going to be doing a giveaway as well. It's either going to be fantastic or it's going to be an absolute nightmare. So please join me for that. And... We're going to start a review. Now, if you watch any of my videos on my channel whatsoever, you'll know that I'm going myself a big, thick, decent, epic style Viking beard, big, long, thick and bushy. And in all my reviews that I'm doing, skin products, beard products, hair products, all sorts of bits and pieces, I'm priding myself on I'm not affiliated to any of these companies whatsoever. Everything that I'm doing is 100% honest and in my own opinion. And so I'm not here blowing smoke rings up companies backsides. If there's something I absolutely love out there, I'm going to share about it and say that I love it. And if there's something out there that I don't particularly like, I'm going to say for whatever reason why I don't like it and it's not for me. And that's a cool thing. We've all got our own opinions, stuff that I might love, you might absolutely hate, stuff that you might love. I might exact, absolutely hate because if somebody was to send me through something peppermint or minty through, beard stuff, skin stuff or whatever, I'd absolutely detest peppermint and everything. So we're all entitled to our own opinion. Now, I did do a review for these guys a while back, and that is from a UK-based uh, Glasgow company called Banging Beards. They do a range of grooming products, uh, beard oils, beard balms, combs, that sort of stuff. I will, as per always, put the links down below to them, so please go and check them out. And the other review that I did do is still there on YouTube, wherever it is. Uh, so go and check out. The first review i done for them was one called Forest Walk and really enjoyed that one. And because I like my really, really sweet, sort of sticky, sickly sorts of uh, beard oils and balms, as well as my really sort of deep, thick, foresty ones, they sent me through another one to try a little beard oil and balm. So let's put all the reviews going to look at the packaging, the product itself, what's contained within them, what I think to it, prices and everything. And then afterwards, we're going to score it out of 20. So 20 being absolutely fantastic. Love the stuff. Zero. Can't stand it. And 10. Yeah, it's kind of all right. So here we go. Now, they have sent me through to have a look to to have a look at. And very fruity scent called mango melody little balm and you've also got your 10 ml bottle of oil here and little blue so i don't know whether you can see it kind of like a bristol blue color little glass uh, what do you call it container jar dispenser i don't know but a little um glass pot with it in there it's got the old shaker in there which i'm not a hundred percent overly keen on shakers i found i never really liked them to start with and i found some have a half decent ones that work really well ones where the flow tube inside is too wide and it just pulls out and everything but the other one that i tried not particularly too bad and a little bum so we'll talk about the oil to start with Mango Melody. As the name suggests, hopefully it should smell of mango because what's the point in calling it Mango Melody if it smells of pine? And so the oil inside of this, they're using almond oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, argan oil, jojoba oil and fragrance oil. And 
come in two different sizes. They do a £7.99 UK cash for a 10 mil, and they also do a 30 mil for £17.99. Now, I have used this because what's the point in doing unboxes? In my opinions, you kind of like, what's the you open a box, you go, oh, look, looks really nice, smells really nice, yeah, that's it, job done. I have actually used this over the past couple of days, so I know exactly what it's like, and it's nice to see with products. Sometimes you go out and you buy a product, and you think, that's really good. The first review I've done, really, really like the stuff. And you're always kind of a bit hesitant when you get the next product through, because it's like, is it still going to be the same? Have they put the same time and effort and care into that? Is there going to be cohesion between the two of them? And it's nice that they have done with this. So it's kind of like they haven't done a fantastic one and then on the base of that have done a really bad one. So it's nice that they're very similar in the respects of the quality. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, talking about the scent profile of it. Mango is a very, in my opinion, a very, very difficult scent, pardon the expression, and flavour. Because it's either really, really fake. It, mango is one of those things that can be sad, but at the same time sweet. And if you don't get the balance right, it's a very, very overpowering fruit. And I have used this. And it's, it's nice. It's sweet enough that it's kind of got that sweet mango uh, scent to it, but at the same time, it's got a soury bitter notes to it, so it's not ridiculously sweet. It kind of like, they bear the two sort of scents in there, sort of balance each other out. And it does smell of mango. No, 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 but look. <coughs> I have freshly showered and done my beard. And with scents and everything in the bottle, Remember that when you do pour them out, put them on your hand, you start generating some heat through there before you start rubbing it through your beard and everything else, that the scent does kind of like intensify on it. The same, like I said in other videos with food, when you buy a cold piece of meat, it doesn't really smell of anything. As soon as you whack it in the oven for a couple of hours, you get the smell of meat and beef and whatever coming through. And so it does intensify. So remember when you are smelling a bottle of oil, which is why I don't particularly like just unboxings and watching unboxings because if you haven't used the product and you're smelling it inside the bottle because it's cold, it doesn't smell so much as when you start using the product, then it starts releasing all the scents and everything like that. And this is quite a well-balanced one. It's judging it on the scale of very, very subtle. You only just get a hint of it to medium to kind of like, yeah, it's, it's there to really smack you in the face kind of scent. I would rate this one as a nice medium. It's kind of one of those scents that you can smell it, it's not punchy in the face, it's not, can barely smell it at all. And it does smell rather yummy, which is quite nice because like I was saying, mango is one of those hard scents to kind of recreate and everything. I have, put it on the tattoo, bring that a bit, a bit skin moisturizer. I have used it, like I say, suffering from no itchiness, no beard draft, no flaky skin or anything like that. It's seeming to absorb into my hair and skin fairly quickly, around about half hour, three quarters of an hour. And is the scent lasting? Because what is the point in having a scent that after five minutes it just goes and disappeared? I do work in a hot, sticky, sweaty environment, so it's kind of like a bit of a pressure test for oils and beards and um, balms and stuff like that. And it's lasting for a good hour, maybe hour and a half. It's not necessarily there all day, but nice to smell it for a, a while before it does disappear. Because obviously you put aftershave on and after a while it disappears and everything like that. And I do like to see how long it takes before they do disappear. So the oil, Really, really nice. Done a good job of it. So I'm just going to put the top on that because there's, I don't want to knock it over and oil everywhere. That's that one. And they sent me through a little balm to use. And I have been using this. And we'll go through the ingredients on it. Comes in a little tin like this. The sample one that they sent through. Which has got mango butter, shea butter, she butter, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Cocoa butter, beeswax. Um, almond oil, grapeseed oil, and it's also got fragrance oils in it as well. 
and they come in various different sizes. You can get a 15 gram tin at £4.99. You can get a 35 gram tin for £10.99 and a 75 gram tin for £17.99. And I do like it when companies kind of bring out, <laughs> Tasha over your mouth. Um, they do bring out kind of like loads of different sizes because you don't want to be carrying around massive big pots of it unless you really love the stuff. And it's nice if you are going on a break, traveling for the day and slips in your glove box, in your wallet, coat pocket or wherever, travel bag and stuff. And you haven't got to take big bottles of stuff around with you, which is quite nice. And also, Sometimes you go out and you buy a scent, you get it at home and you're like, I really don't like this. And it's nice to be able to almost like trial something that isn't too much of an outlay because we're all on budgets nowadays. You don't want to start throwing money into the wind and everything. But you can go out and either buy a 10 mil bottle of it and a 15 gram one of these for £4.99. And if you don't like it, it's not shelling out particularly too much money. So it is nice when companies do bring out the, the smaller versions, which is quite handy. Now the oil does work as you, uh, sorry, the balm does work. As you all know, people are often asking me, what is the difference between an oil and a balm? Putting it bluntly, they both do exactly the same thing. The only difference between an oil and a balm is that balms tend to have some sort of wax in it, whether beeswax or other stuff like that, soy wax and stuff like that, and it has a slight amount of styling to it. It's not, you're not gonna be able to completely style your beard with it because you can buy beard wax, tash wax, and stuff like that, that primarily does that job. This will kind of do exactly the same as this, but with a little bit of styling, so it keeps coming with some of those fly away hairs in check and in place, not necessarily mine because mine's developing little side of swells and cowlicks and stuff like that that's the way my beard grows so that is in my opinion the difference between a balm and an oil does exactly the same thing hydrates your skin and your hair nourishes it everything makes it feel soft and nice but the balm has a bit of wax in it which will give it a little tiny bit of hold not ridiculously too much and it's nice with the balms from banging beards that they haven't put too much bee, uh, beeswax in there because there is kind of often, there's a fine line between not enough and too much. Because obviously when you've got too much in it, it then becomes more of a beard wax. And if you haven't got enough of it, it then starts almost bordering on your beard butter. So, but yeah, they've got the right amount of bees wax in there. So fantastic. So just refreshing. £7.99 for 10 mil and £17.99 for 30 mil with the balms, 15 grams for £4.99, 35 grams for £10.99, and 75 grams for £17.99. So you can get whatever kind of sizes you like. So how would I rate it out of 10? Sorry, out of 20. So I'm gonna rate this one because it's, it's an okay scent. I do like it, it's nice and fruity. I'm gonna rate this one at a quite happily 18 out of 20. Now the reason I'm scoring it 18 out of 20 is basically I like it. It's really, really good stuff. The reason I've not scored it 20 out of 20 is because mango for me is kind of one of those hit and miss kind of scents. This definitely does smell of mango and they've got the balance right in it. I'm not a great fan of mango. Um, I recently tried quitting smoking and everything by moving on to vaping and stuff, and I bought some mango scented um, or mango flavored vape juice to go in it, and it's kind of put me off mango for the rest of my life. It was absolutely horrid stuff, gave me a really, really nasty headache and everything, so I'm back on smoking again. Oh, well, never mind, who cares? Um, so, mango is kind of used to really love it now i'm not so keen on it i think the product itself is absolutely fantastic they've done a great job with the scent on it price point is just right on this product so absolutely brilliant job 18 out of 20 and don't get me wrong that is not a bad score at all it's absolutely fantastic and thank you to banging beards for sending those through and also these are all 100 percent natural ingredients as well and they're not tested on animals. Because why would you test something like beard oil and beard balm on an animal? Because be 
I've never seen a cat with a beard. And so, which is great to hear as well. So thank you to Banging Beards for that. Like I say, I will be putting links down below, so please go and check them out. Thank you guys for watching another one of my review videos. I've got another one coming out to mon uh, tomorrow, which is Monday, and I've got another one coming out Tuesday. Then on top of that, I've got my Halloween special as well, so I'm a busy little boy at the moment, especially if I am in full-time work on top of that, so never a dull moment. Please, guys, like I said, please like, share, and subscribe, or comment down below I do read everything I am over on Instagrammy wherever that happens to be whichever the button that is for there on uh, Viking Beard Matt so please come and follow me over there and thank you guys keep on growing those beards keep on loving each other and keep on taking care of each other I look forward to seeing you in the next review thank you guys have a great one take it easy